Nan here, finally with a new, more formal video. If you care to listen carefully, you will hear the sweet, sweet sound of childcare. I'm so happy that um, things are a little bit back to normal for us, at least for now. Um, but I have the time to show you all of these beautiful items that I just got. So I'm going to show you the Doen Warehouse Sale items that I purchased this year. And then I'll give you a little bit of background um, of the warehouse sale itself. So the warehouse sale is something that happens every year seemingly, but at different times. It is a sale from like 30 to 60% off items. Some items just show up magically, like the mock coat and, and stuff. But otherwise, it is just stock that they have left over that they put on discount. So last year it was at the end of July and this year it was at the end of August. Everything is final sale so it can be a bit of a risk but the prices are awesome. I'll have all the prices and the sizes down below um, just in case what I'm saying doesn't make sense but uh, or it isn't correct. But I have the Sterling, the Lovisa, the Cami and the Sedona and then I got the Amelie dress for my daughter um, but she wore it to school today. <laughs> so I wanted to show you my adult version. Um, it's the same same like color, same style. My daughter's is a little bit shorter, um, but that's basically what it looks like. So the Sterling was the biggest discount. It was about 60% off. Um, the Sedona was 40% off. I believe the Cami was 50, and I think the Levisa was 30. Again, double check down below. I'll have everything correct, correct down there. Um, so the Sedona retailed for about 298, and the Sterling was 108. The Cami was 35 and then the Lovisa was 98. So I'll start with the Sterling. So with because the sale, the sale is such a risk, um, I really fell back on my favorites. The Sedona is basically the only style I've never tried. So the Sterling, um, I have it in the Butterfly Floral, I think it's called the Papillon Floral, and it is a yellow based um, like mini dress. I wore these like crazy all through the summer. I found like um, chasing around three kids. I just really liked a printed short dress. Anything longer got really messy. Our cottage we spend at the summer is like like dirty, like there's dirt and <laughs> and uh, sand everywhere. So I just thought a shorter hemline worked. And so uh, buying the sterling and printed made sense for me. The other version they had of this with, in the same print was the Gladys and it is a was a short sleeved um, a sleeveless rather, um, mini dress just like this, and we had buttons, and then I had a tear at the bottom, and that was one I considered, but then I decided against it because I wasn't sure about the A-line style on me. I just really love the sterling, and so that's what I got. This is my blue one. The blue one was also on sale, so this is the bluebird um, color, and then we also had it in white. So I just love this dress. I didn't wear it as much as possible because I find a solid color is not as kid friendly as something with printed. Like if I spill something on myself or the kids, actually I'm also messy. <laughs> I spill. But if the kids touch me like jam or something, I feel like a printed version always um, lasts longer. So I have to be a little bit more careful if I buy something solid. But I just love this style of dress. It's so sweet. It is so um, classic and it, I just love all the details. And I'm gonna show you how to style all of these for fall. So with the Sterling Mini, this um, printed version and the solid version, um, I would pair it with a jean jacket and loafers or cowboy boots. So I would just add a couple layers there. Um, you can also do like a vest with it so that you can show the sleeves. But um, yeah, lots of, lots of styling options here and then obviously some boots. Someone, um, and the Facebook group tried bought the Noah boots, which were also on sale, and they bought the, the Sterling, and it looked amazing together, so that is also an option. The Levisa. Ooh, the Levisa. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know I have a couple versions of these. I think this is my fourth. I have um, the original white one. I have the Franz, Francis Floral, and then I have the Blue Baby Kate, which is my more recent one, and then I just got this one. Um, the first two, the Lovisa and the um, Francis Flora, I breastfed in, and so I kind of stretched out the the neckline. So the last two, I haven't breastfed in, um, so they're really good. The Blue Baby Kate, if you get it, it's not as stretchy on a neck on the neck. This one is stretchy on the neck. The Blue Baby Kate is not. So just so you know, that's kind of a different Lovisa. Um, this is such a pretty understated piece that Doan had. It looks very plain. On online in their photographs but if you see it in real life 
is it's the windswept floral, which I have it in. I have that in a pink nightgown, the orchid. Um, so it's a it's a print that they've done before, but the details up here, the embroidery, I'll show you a close up. It's so pretty. It's just this very sweet blue embroidery, and I just think it's beautiful. It took I got this all yesterday, and it took everything in me not to wear this last night because I just think it's beautiful. It's just as soft as my other Lovisas, and it's just a treat. If you were looking for a really nice gift for someone. Um, I would recommend the Lovisa. It is sheer, so you have to be careful with um, with that if, if the person likes wearing that. But I know a lot of people who wear this with a slip um, and then they wear out. So the way I would style this um, out is to wear a slip with it and then wear my blue Baba uh, sweater. I think it's the number 18. I'll show you that there. And I'll have that linked below. Um, I think this works just really well for a nice fall day and if I'm just having had a really tired night or something and just don't feel like changing that's how i would style it for a nice fall crisp morning and this is the cami tank and i, I want to say it's the blue sweet pea i'll have again that below the name of it but i have it in the other sweet peas so i have it in the pink sweet pea and then i have it in the golden sweet pea and now i have it in the blue and i absolutely love them the, I have two different sizes, so the, in the white I have a large, because I got the, the yellow and I thought it was a bit tight, but I do prefer the medium size because it does stretch quite a bit. This is something that I would wear underneath, like cardigans, so I would layer with it, and I do enjoy just wearing it under sweaters and stuff in case it peeks out. It's like a really just sweet print to wear. So um, the way I would style this is with uh, jeans, and I would actually wear it with my... Sedona jacket. I've had a couple questions because I told people that I got this item I had a couple questions on how you would style it because it is such a busy print and honestly I would just the more the merrier when it comes to prints just add one in um, I think this is a bit of a bright white for this one. The, there isn't many bright white um, Colors on here. It's more of like a off-white or cream So just keep that in mind. I don't really mind. I think it looks really cute together so I would just do this together with jeans and some just running shoes. The Sedona, this was my biggest risk for the sale. According to the measurements, I would fit a small and then I had heard some other feedback about how this fits really big. And so I was worried about this small coming and fitting me, but it works really well for um, just my proportions. So generally I have just small shoulders and just a bigger bottom half. So when it comes to coats, especially longer ones like this, this one hits me at the hip. Um, the sizing is a little, a little different because it usually looks too big on my upper body. This has a raglan sleeve, so because it doesn't have a formal um, shoulder seam, it works a bit better. But it is a bit puffy, as you see on, but it also allows room for sweaters. So I tried it with my Baba sweater underneath, and it works really well, and that's like a thick cotton sweater. So if you're looking for something to layer, um, I think I would go true to size on this. It only comes in an extra small. It doesn't have extended sizes, but I think it's very flexible when it comes to sizing. You do, I don't do up the bottom one because the bottom button, because it is a little tight on my hip, which I thought it would be, but um, I would wear this open anyway, because I think it's a very busy print, and I think showing something underneath will kind of break up all the busyness. Um, as you can see, it has, the buttons are offset, it's not centered. Um, which is an interesting design decision. I think center would be fine. It doesn't have a collar on the inside of chambray. And I believe that, so they have the stitching as though it's quilted, like as though these are separate pieces, but I have the Amarillo and it's just printed, the, the, the patchwork. So I believe that they just put the stitch lines here and they do have batting. It's very, very light. Um, so it's a very light coat. It is good for spring, which is when it came out. But it's also good for fall, and again, I think it layers really well. This is a really good piece, and I'm so excited to have this um, for fall and for spring. I'm going to wear it like crazy. The sleeves are a little long, um, so I have them rolled up, and then this is what the back looks like. And then the print is different on every single one of them, so it just depends on where everything lands. Um, I really, I was hoping for more of a pink one, and I got that. So I have the pink on this sleeve here and the pink on this sleeve here, and right here you can see. And then I have little touches of red. I don't mind the red up here near my face. I think that actually acts as a focal point, bringing something to the face and something a little bit brighter up here. Um, yeah, so, so excited. Again, I would wear this with a graphic tee. 
um, and jeans, or you can also wear it with like for dresses. You can wear it with like something like chambray. I have a chambray jumper dress that I got at a vintage store, and I think it looks really cute with that. But lots and lots of styling options um, for this cute jacket. And then the last thing I got was the Ameline dress um, from Dawn, which is for my kids. So this is the adult version. <laughs> so just imagine this smaller. So I got um, this. I got the size 8 for my daughter Lux. She's size 6, but she is very tall for her age, so I usually size up, especially with Doan, which tends to fit smaller in my opinion, um, but the 8 is actually pretty big on her, so I would say it fits true to size um, for, uh, for that style. And another thing I wanted to mention about the online sale is that they didn't have all the colors on sale, so with the Amelie, they also had a blue version, and that wasn't on sale for the kids for some reason, but the pink one was, so that's what I grabbed. Um, that all of the colors for the sterling was on sale, the cami, I don't really remember, I, I think, I'm not sure what they had um, available, and then Lovisa, they had a white one that's still available now, so if you know if any of these, the other versions were on sale, please comment below, and then that will help us all um, in what to expect for the next sale. So, the Ameline, I will report back in the notes with what Lux um, thought of that dress today. It's a very light um, cotton material, so it's actually considered a nightgown, but you can obviously wear it out if you want, and that's what she's doing. She's wearing hers with a navy vest and some high collegian socks, it's that like muted pink that Doan has sold before, so she looks super cute. And that is what I got at the Doan online warehouse sale. I hope that was helpful for you if you're looking to do the sale next year or just what to expect. Um, the sizes and prices will be below again and check out our market so my friend Yushi and I started a Instagram account where we resell all of our favorite brands and we would love if you would like to be a part of that community it's going to be a community of just like um, people who love to talk about fashion <laughs> but also a reselling market so you'll find all of our brands and hopefully you'll find something that you love there that was from this sale. So I will have all that information below. It's called Shop Yushi, and our website is called yushi.love, and I hope to see you there. Bye.